many approaches that claim to support readers' comprehension take days of lessons to implement and explain. But without much time, effort, or trips to the copy machine, you can help students improve their reading by simply explaining various elements and features of narrative and expository text. You might be thinking that since students have grown up with stories, there's no need to explain the parts, or that you can't get much more clear-cut than a science textbook. But research shows that throwing the spotlight on structural elements of these texts and strategies to use them can work wonders on reading comprehension. First, you should be sure of what we're talking about here. Narrative texts tell stories and express events-based experiences. Expository or informational texts communicate facts about the natural or social world. Helping your students understand how to view these texts is simple. When reading narrative texts, good readers use their knowledge of story elements to ask and answer questions, monitor story comprehension, predict and preview, connect to world knowledge, construct mental images, and summarize or retell. Thus, recognizing the elements of story structure is a prerequisite to effective use of these reading strategies. In terms of story structure, we're talking about the setting, which includes time and place, the characters, the problems, the action that arises, and finally, the outcome. You could paste a chart like this in students' notebooks so that they can refer to it when you ask them to draw and complete their own chart about the story they're reading. Life hasn't been that simple since Dick and Jane saw Spot Run. And explicitly teaching these elements will also enhance students' memory and recall of text and helps them to organize and write their own stories. So now, how about those pesky informational texts? You know, the textbooks, anthology sections, magazine articles, and newspapers. Oh, and so much more. They're tougher for students to grasp since they implore many text structures as opposed to narrative's familiar flow. They require more abstract thinking since readers must compare and contrast ideas, recognize complex causality, synthesize information, and evaluate solutions posed for problems. Since your school paid so much for that textbook, you figure that it must be the best way to present information, and that students won't need help learning how to read it. Wrong! It's just as important to integrate comprehension instruction into content areas as it is to explicitly teach the content. What do I mean by this? Consider these types of text structures. Description. Compare contrast, cause effect, problem solution, and time order or sequence. If you explicitly alert students to these types of structures and the various keywords that precede them, students can flip their brain switches to the right mode of thinking. And students can use graphic organizers to further benefit their comprehension. These graphic organizers, which are based on the types of text structures, can help students to record information, see how concepts fit within the text structure, focus on the most important ideas, examine relationships among textual concepts, recall key information, and to write well-organized summaries. Isn't that just every teacher's dream? Of course, you can also bring their attention to bold-faced words or figures within the text. Well, folks, the secret to narrative and expository success can be yours for only three easy payments of $59.95. Think of that tax write-off. I suppose, however, that since I've already shared these secrets, there's no reason for you to dial up one of our operators by the end of this advertisement. Still... You might like more information, and in that case, I'd point you to Bill Honig, Linda Diamond, and Linda Galton's second edition of the Teaching Reading Sourcebook. Bill and the Lindas provided most of the information presented to you here, but J. David Cooper and Nancy D. Kiger are also a great resource in the seventh edition of their book, Literacy, Helping Students Construct Meaning. Finally, if you're looking for some classroom activities to further foster the comprehension of expository texts, check out the Tea Party and text reformulation activities in When Kids Can't Read by Kylene Beers. It's a staple for every English teacher's shelf. Well, that's all for today. 
Just remember to explicitly share the features and elements of narrative and expository texts to ensure that your students have the best possible chance at comprehending what they read.